Enough. Harry's acrid response as Meghan snatches the microphone out of his hand for her me, me, me speech. Meghan Markle turned up finally on Tuesday this week, even though the Invictus Games opened on Saturday, and guess what she did? She made a speech. Guess what the speech was about? Her favourite subject, Meghan Markle. It's all about drawing attention to her. Meghan Markle, the former actress, the beautiful princess, the duchess. All about her. Very little mention of the Invictus Games, servicemen and women. Yet again, she's eclipsing and overshadowing Prince Harry. Why does he put up with it? Andrew Pearce said on the Daily Mail, Good luck with the Invictus Games, Prince Harry. I hope they go well. I really do. They're a great cause. But your wife, as ever, is doing nothing to promote you or the games. Last Tuesday, Meghan gave a first address to the crowd at Invictus Games 2023, while Harry watched on in the background. It's all about me, me, me. So, Harry caught feeling uncomfortable when his wife was stealing his limelight by grabbing his microphone for a speech. Body language expert Darren Stanton explained that the Duke appeared nervous as he played with his ring finger while watching his wife, a sign that he was looking for reassurance. The Invictus Games clearly means a lot to him and it's his birthday. At one point, Harry was seen playing with his ring finger, which is a self-reassurance gesture. This type of gesture is generally used when someone's feeling nervous. Meghan was the big surprise for showing up on stage and hijacking it from Prince Harry and the veterans. This does read like that and not her first time pulling that type of stunt either. She's acting like everyone was just waiting for her arrival. Meanwhile, over here in reality, a speech was cut from the program days ago. In a speech, she referenced herself, her and Harry, and her and the little ones 21 times. I'm, I, we, our, us, my. She droned on for two minutes, though it seemed longer. Meanwhile, we see Harry take a step and turn his body away when she says she was putting the kids down a version of an eye roll. Then the camera caught Harry's gesture to take the microphone back from Meghan. Why does she have to make everything about her? As if the attendees were waiting on bated breath for her star power. This has been stated to be an impromptu speech by her, which clearly points out that she was not asked or scheduled by Invictus to take the stage. She took it without authorization, stole it. Her speech was planned by her, full of ridiculous lies and attempts to portray herself as good-loving mummy and ordinary housewife. Moreover, footage shared by fans shows Meghan running off the pitch towards fans shouting the Sussex squads here before shaking their hands and posing for photos. Seems to be more kids at Invictus than injured and ailing veterans. A source said that they gave out thousands of tickets to schools, and Meghan doesn't seem to like kids at all. Harry and Meghan then posed with Anika Hutzler of Team USA, who competes in the 100 and 200 meter races. Later, Meghan bonded with Australian competitor Laura Raynal, who sat next to her as they chatted about a beanie hat. She said, Meghan thought it was funny I was wearing the beanie and asked if I was cold. I told her I'm from Oz and always cold. 